What's up, Mitten Squad? My name is Paul. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over 10 things you didn't know about Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. Number 10. Generation 2 introduced a new attack specific to the Pikachu evolution called Volt Tackle. In the Japanese version of the game, Volt Tackle is known as Voltaser. Voltaser is the name of an attack used by Pulse Man, the protagonist of the self-entitled Sega Mega Drive game developed by Game Freak in 1994. Game Freak is obviously the developers of the Pokemon game series. Number 9. Wild double battles were planned for Ruby and Sapphire as evidenced by an unused text string found in the game. The string reads, Wild slash V and HO5 and slash V and HO3 appeared, with the two strings acting as placeholders for the names of the Pokemon. Number 8. Some of the trainer sprites in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald were changed for the international versions of the game. Hex maniacs were given smaller eyes with pupils, and the female psychics had their arms outstretched, and the male cruel trainer has minor changes to his hairstyle. The most obvious change is the sailor, whose original pose resembles a gesture called the Brass de Henner, involving raising a fist and slapping the bicep of the same arm, also known as the Iberian slap or Iberian finger, which is seen as an offensive gesture in a number of countries. Number 7. In Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, map data exists for a closed version of the flower shop, which in the final version of the game is always open on Route 104. In this unused map, there is only one non-playable character in the store and they inform the player that the flower shop is closed. The map was originally used in the Pokemon Fiesta 2002 demo to limit the player's experience of the game, and it was later removed from gameplay in the final version but still exists within the game's code. Number 6. If the player lacks the 50 Poke Fee to enter the Oceanic Museum while Team Aqua or Team Magma occupies it, they will be admitted for free as the receptionist will mistake the player for a member of Team Aqua or Team Magma. However, this will no longer work after Team Aqua or Team Magma leaves the building. Number 5. The gems on Sable Eye's body may be a reference to Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, as the common colors for rubies and sapphires are red and blue. Sable Eye's shiny sprite also has green and yellow gems. Green is the common color for emeralds, making this a possible reference also to Pokemon Emerald. Number 4. Ninkata is the only Pokemon who will evolve into two different Pokemon at once. When Ninkata evolves, if there is an empty slot in the player's party and a Pokeball in their inventory, the player will receive both Ninjas and Shadenia. Additionally, if Ninkata is shiny, both the two Pokemon it evolves into will also be shiny. Number 3. There is an unused sprite in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire that appears to be a revamped and stretched sprite from Game Freak's first game, Mandel Palace. Number 2. There are two unused abilities in the game, No Ability and Cacophony. No Ability is presumed to have been an error handler and is used when the game manages to find a Pokemon with an ability of ID set to zero. The term isn't used in the final game because all Pokemon were given abilities. Cacophony is an ability similar to Soundproof, which isn't assigned to any Pokemon in the game. It's assumed that it was meant to be the ability for Wizmer, Loutred, or Exploud, given their nature for noise-based attacks. Number 1. The Pokemon game director at Game Freak stated while developing Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire that Game Freak considered changing the number of Pokemon that the player can have in their party and the number of moves that the Pokemon can learn. The idea was later scrapped. It is currently unknown what sort of potential changes were to be made, and as of Generation 5, no changes like this has ever been made to the series. Alright, that's going to do it for this top 10 video about Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, leave a like. Leave a dislike if you didn't enjoy the video or didn't learn anything. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions for any future top 10 video about any game or game character. My name is Paul of Mitten Squad. Have a wonderful day.